I've been a smoker since I was 12. I smoked because my mother, instead of giving me uh, pocket money, used to buy me a packet of cigarettes per week. I did that until I was 66. And we must have got up to 40 cigarettes a day. My wife says it's 40, I say it's 30. But I always lie, so that's it. On the 4th of September last year, I went to, what's the mines? Winning mines. Winning mines. As I walked up to the place, I stopped, put my hand in my pocket and took out a cigarette packet with one cigarette in it. I smoked that cigarette and enjoyed it. I then went into Winning's Mines where I had a session with Mark, the hypnotist. They say you're frightened of hypnotists, everybody's frightened of hypnotists, I am. We had a session and when I woke up I said to Mark how long I've been out. He said, how, do you, how long do you think you've been out? I said, oh, ten minutes? He told me it was over an hour. There was no... No hooty-poojio. I didn't go playing the cockerel. It was just Mark talking for an hour. And now, as I say, we've been in, uh, this is 56 years, and I can assure you, my wife has been under me every day for the last 40 years to stop smoking. I've tried every method in the book. Patches, all of it. I, I, uh, I took the patches, put them on, and then there's a cigarette as well to get more nicotine. I would never have thought I would go to a hypnotist. My wife said to me, this is your last opportunity. We tried everything and this was what we were going to do. Went to Mark's at oh, 2.30. I came out at 1.30, 4 o'clock threw away the cigarette packet and said, I don't smoke. I'm a non-smoker. And from that moment until this moment today, I've never, ever had a cigarette. The main reason for packing up is my grandkids used to say I stuck. Now they come and kiss me. That is a blessing about being a non-smoker.